Uh, so what we're starting with here is kind of like, think of this as the eyes of the machine. So mm -hmm. an engineer who's using this development kit, how are they going to see feedback from all the different sensors that are in this car? This is the engineering tool that we'll provide with the kit. And so you can see a car going by. Uh, you know, we're able to classify um, different objects that we're detecting with the LiDAR, with the forward camera um, in this vehicle. Right, so I'll start driving around so we can kind of see all the perception capability that we have with this development kit. You know, the red and the yellow circular lines, that's feedback from our uh, LiDAR sensors in the car. The flashing little bubbles that are different colors, that's feedback from the five different radar in the car. And we got a different color for each radar. Um, and so when you see a bubble, that means that one of those smart radars has, has told our chip that it's detected an object. And then of course our chip that has the autonomous driving function to, to decide what to do now that they know that an object's there. Okay. The, the yellow lines that you see right here, that's detecting lanes. So the reason you have a hash on the left is because you have a hash on the left. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. um, important to note that this uh, traffic light that you see here, mm -hmm. that's actually behind us in the parking lot. And uh, we're communicating that traffic light, light via um, DSRC radio. So think of that as V2I, Vehicle to Infrastructure. Right. All right. On the left corner, you can see some information about what the CPUs are doing. So you can see for the sensor fusion algorithm that's bringing together all of the uh, LiDAR, radar, and forward cameras and um, putting them together in one package. Um, and we're only at about 25% CPU utilization, which we're pretty happy about because there's a lot of high computation going on in the right. sensor fusion algorithm. <laughs> Definitely. So we got a lot of room left for the other software we'll need for the car to control itself. All right. Now I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to switch the screen so we can see some computer vision stuff. Awesome. And we'll start with uh, surround view. All right. And, uh, the reason I push this button here is because we're actually switching to a different ECU. So okay. we're going to do a different HDMI cable. Right. And you just got to hope this thing uh, cooperates. <laughs> there we go. So I'm actually going to go to a surround view first, which I can get to by this little touch screen we made. All right. So we're using our four cameras around the car to give us a view all around the car. So this type of technology is real handy for autonomous driving. Uh, but it's also marketable today, just mm -hmm. as a mechanism to in a low speed kind of parking lot type maneuver driving right. situation, just to give more information to the driver. Definitely. Um, you, know, you can see it behind your car, if you're backing up, very handy. All right. And so as we move forward with this technology and continue to you know, develop the demonstration to show OEMs and, and tier ones that you know our chips can do the things they need, we'll probably start putting some um, identification of things that are in each of these images. Mm -hmm. So like I say, if there's a pedestrian walking by, we could put a box around them, things like that. Cool. All right. Now to show you the lane recognition, I'll switch back to where we were at, and I'm going to turn the car around, All right, and you get this wiggly, crazy green line. What that's going to do is center itself on a lane once we're on the road. I'm going to get away from these dots and I have some actual lanes, which is what we're calibrated for right now. Right, as we kind of go before us to the center of those lane markers. All right. So it's a pretty tricky, tricky technology. You need definitely a lot of computation. All right. I'm going to go back to the previous screen so you can see that traffic light again. I can actually point out to you where the traffic light is at. That's right down there. See it? Yeah. And so we've set this up such that when I approach, it'll reset and mm -hmm. go to green, um, about to turn red. And you'll see that if it we're in a situation where the car's approaching the light, but we're going, you know, at a speed where you'd say, hey, you're about to run. 